Mortal Kombat X comes out very shortly, so I decided to put together a brief history of everything Mortal Kombat, except that Mortal Kombat's history is not brief. So here's an encyclopedia on the history of Mortal Kombat. Consider yourselves an expert. Created by Ed Boon and John Tobias, Mortal Kombat was initially released in 1992 for the arcade. Making it unique from other fighters that came out at around about the same time, Mortal Kombat focused on a special blocking system, where instead of just holding back on the arcade stick, you had to manually block while also taking an incremental amount of damage, adding another level of challenge to it. And how could we forget that this was the game that introduced the world to fatalities? 1993 came around and brought us Jurassic Park and of course Mortal Kombat 2 and improved on the first game in so many ways including adding higher resolution characters allowing the developers to improve their designs. Newer levels were also added which gave us 10 different stages to fight on. This was also the game that introduced us to the Babality. Two years later Mortal Kombat 3 hit arcades and for the first time in an MK game the player could run. It was added as a balancing mechanic to give the offensive player a better chance at victory. This was also the first time we got introduced to some familiar faces. Cyrax, Cabal, Sector, Shiva, Nightwolf, Sindel and Striker were all in this one. It also introduced the awesome animality finisher where the character transformed into an animal and proceeded to murder the opponent. MK3 was later updated that year and released as the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Edition. Not only were a handful of new characters thrown in, but also a few new balances were implemented. An 8 player tournament was added as well as a 2 on 2 combat mode. The following year, in 1996, saw the last update to MK3. It was badass for a number of reasons, but most importantly, it threw in every Mortal Kombat player to date into one game. And for the first time, Noob Saibot was playable, a character named after the original creator's surnames reversed. Boon and Tobias. Get it? For the first time in the series' history, MK went 3D in Mortal Kombat 4. Reviews were mixed mainly because the transition to 3D wasn't necessarily where it was supposed to be at that stage, it was only 1997, but it was also new for the team and for the gaming industry as a whole, and Midway had to overcome many challenges in order to produce it. Here's a fun fact, this was the first MK game to have animated endings. Mortal Kombat Gold was released in 1999 subsequently to 4, fixing many of the issues that the game had when it was first released. The first of a few MK themed action games was spawned with the release of Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero in 1997. These spin-offs focused on the individual stories of some of the characters, and the other two games were called Mortal Kombat Special Forces, which was released in 2000, and Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, which was launched in 2005. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance launched in 2002 and is technically the fifth Mortal Kombat title. The 3D had been vastly improved from Mortal Kombat 4, but the story was super weird and only the way that Mortal Kombat can do it. Also there was this weird official theme song by Edema. I know who you are. <sighs> the early 2000s were weird man. Continuing the story from Deadly Alliance, Mortal Kombat Tournament Edition takes the universe to the Game Boy Advance. The idea was that it was the second half of Deadly Alliance and they threw in a few more characters, Serena, Noob, Saibot and Sector. Mortal Kombat 6, also known as Mortal Kombat Deception, punched its way onto PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox in 2004. It was an awesome game for so many reasons. It looked amazing with new insane graphics and slick combat animations. It also included interactive stages and was probably the most important MK in the online department. At this stage, it had the most extensive online components, catapulting the series into an important era for beat em up online competitions. It was later ported under the name Mortal Kombat Unchained to the PlayStation Portable in 2006. The seventh installment of Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, was also released in 2006. Having no less than 63 characters, you might have confused it for Dota than a fighting game. Armageddon introduced the Creator Fighter mode, as well as a Creator Fatality feature, which got a lot of controversy. The game received mixed reviews, but this was the dark before a very exciting dawn. Batman, Superman, Catwoman and a bunch of other DC characters joined the Mortal Kombat roster in Mortal Kombat vs DC in 2008. There was a cool story mode that represented both the Mortal Kombat and DC characters. To jazz up the fights, there were instances to break up the match, most notably a freefall mode, a mid-air fight that was activated by throwing your opponent out of the map to an area below you. Most importantly, it was awesome seeing DC characters in a proper fighting game for once. Mortal Kombat 9 came a knocking in 2011. 
Midway changed the name to Nether Realms, and taking learnings from all the previous Mortal Kombat titles, Ed Boon and his team made one of the greatest Mortal Kombat games to date. It was great for so many reasons, but most importantly, it won back a large portion of the hardcore fighting scene. It had a refined fighting system, brand new x-ray moves, which made it way more violent but didn't really distract from the combat, and an awesome story mode. A challenge tower and a series of minigames that honed your skills were very important additions, as well as an exciting online king of the hill. Learning from all these previous titles and improving on many successful features, mostly from Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat X is this year's big shiny new Mortal Kombat release. It's got some great ideas, three variant fighting styles for each character, an awesome online factions mode, daily online challenges in the living towers, with up to 28 different characters to play with. Hopefully more will be announced closer to the release date, but at this stage, it looks as if MKX is looking to be one incredible title. He's looking forward to a shining star in the Mortal Kombat stable and a great beat-em-up to kick off its future on the new consoles. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. If there's any expansions or things that I left out that you think are important to include in this list, please drop me a comment in the comments below. Otherwise, subscribe for more gaming videos and I will see you in the next video.